Did you know there's a bold idea brewing, an ocean city? Imagine a realm immune to climate change, brimming with endless possibilities. Picture farms adrift, sheltering climate refugees and easing urban congestion. Japanese startup NAR Key envisions Dojin City as a self-sustaining metropolis afloat. Could this be the blueprint for future construction or merely a sci-fi dream? Land reclamation. Imagine you live in a lovely coastal town that's getting too crowded. What if you could extend it into the sea? That's what land reclamation is, adding rock, sand, and clay to create more land. It's an old method, but not always sustainable, especially with rising sea levels. We need to rethink how we build and quickly it's scary, but also a chance to adapt in our lifetime, expanding from land to sea. Floating communities aren't new. There are floating islands in Peru, villages in Cambodia, and even offshore platforms like small towns. Floating cities. These ideas are growing larger. The United Nations supports a South Korean plan to create floating platforms near Busan. Saudi Arabia has suggested Oxagon, a floating city as part of its NEOM project and a Japanese startup aims to push the boundaries even more. Dogen City. It's huge, about 1.58 kilometers wide and roughly 4 kilometers around, covering 390 acres. This initial section can house 40,000 folks, acting like its own city but feeling more like a village. The plan. The circular structure will include public housing, medical centers, food production, and even spacecraft launch sites. Floating structures in the bay can be changed to suit different needs. The outer ring acts as a shield against tsunamis, protecting the inner developments. Everything will be anchored in the water like a wind turbine or oil rig. This plan is incredibly ambitious. It's a high-tech blueprint for a floating paradise, addressing climate refugees, affordable housing, and food shortages. According to the Global Center on Adaptation, if we keep farming as we do now, we'll run out of land by 2050. Profits You might remember Singapore's idea to turn the city into farmland, and Rotterdam already has a floating dairy farm. NARK thinks Dojin City could produce 7,000 tons of food yearly using seawater for plants. It sounds great, a tsunami-proof, self-sustaining refuge in the sea. But there's a big problem, money. UK is focusing on profits now. Dojin City is also pitched as a medical tourism spot with robot surgeries and AI health monitoring. Plus, its healthcare system will run on an underwater data center. Floating cities are becoming a thing, especially with rising sea levels threatening coastal cities. Dojin City might not be built as planned, but Yuki's vision helps us think about better ways to build for the future. Climate change is pushing us to rethink things, and ideas like this could become reality. We're also raising awareness about mental health and construction through our Get Construction Talking initiative. Check out our channel for more and subscribe to Supreme Projects to stay updated on construction trends.